The Price is Right first hit airwaves in 1972, and housewives across the U.S. swooned over Bob Barker. Is this price over here, a uh, prize over here, the uh, blah, 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 bars affect me that way. Watching contestants match wits in a variety of pricing games. And male viewers also tuned in to see Barker's beauties. As the merchandise always seemed more valuable when they stood in front of it. You've had more trouble with that door lately. You poor little baby, now let me help you. Hey, guys. <laughs> the beauties went through several personnel changes over the years, and every fan has their favorite. Unfortunately, some have claimed that they were subjected to a hostile work environment and have filed lawsuits against their former boss. So today we'll find out why former model Holly Hallstrom refused to settle with Barker creating a 10-year pursuit of justice that just ended in 2005. I'm your host, Nostalgic Nick, and let's get to the scandals behind the scenes of The Price is Right. The show's 50th season premiered in 2021, becoming the longest running game show in the United States. And no show runs for five decades without some ruffled feathers. So let's go look at the shocking allegations against Bob Barker and the show's producers. But before we open the envelope to tell you the actual retail price of this video, be sure to buzz in by hitting the thumbs up icon and subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss a new video. Now, come on down. You're the next viewer on Do You Remember? What about Bob? Bob Barker graduated from high school in Springfield, Missouri in 1941 and worked as a DJ before becoming a game show host. But he wasn't the producer's first choice. Producer Mark Goodson discovered that Bill Cullen had difficulty walking around the set and Bob then got the gig. And Barker became well known for his animal activism. Bob Barker reminding you, help control the pet population. Have your pet spayed or neutered his charisma, and his quick wit, as viewers happily welcomed him into their homes for over 35 years. Barker's Beauties Bob shared the stage with Anitra Ford, Janice Pennington, and Diane Parkinson a trio collectively known as Barker's Beauties. Housewives found them wholesome and relatable enough, but the show's producers frequently dressed them up in sexy outfits and swimwear, more as a treat for the male viewers. You couldn't help noticing them and some fell in love. Everyone had their favorite. Holly Hallstrom. Hallstrom joined the show in 1977, replacing Anitra Ford. The 5'11 auburn-haired beauty became an instant fan favorite, and she owned plenty of great on-screen moments. Holly, you are the only one who could do that with such grace and beauty. Holly's wardrobe malfunction in 1981 was talked about by fans almost as much as Yolanda's 1977 tube top incident. Holly was a good sport when she got all wet as part of an April Fool's prank in 1987, but she claims the real reason she was fired in 1995 was because she refused to lie under oath. More on that in a second. Janice Pennington Each show began with Janice Pennington handing Bob his signature skinny mic and she was on the show longer than any other of the beauties. The lovely Janice Pennington has been with us for all the 24 years on CBS. Yes. What you might not know was Pennington was once married to German mountain climber Friedrich Fritz Stamberger, who disappeared while mountain climbing in 1975. She wrote about her desperate search for her husband in the 1994 book, Husband, Lover, Spy, A True Story. Pennington allegedly got upset by the cliffhanger pricing game, and she was known to cry off stage when the segment aired. In 1988, Janice was knocked off the stage and into contestants row by a camera operator. She had to be rushed to the hospital. The Barker beauty underwent two surgeries as a result and she could no longer wear swimsuits on the show because of her scars. So, Pennington sued the show's producers and recovered medical damages after a lengthy legal battle. Diane Parkinson 
Diane was on The Price is Right for 18 years, and fans were shocked when she left the show in 1993. Bob announced she was leaving the show to pursue other interests, and there were some rumors that she was feuding with Janice. But in 1994, Parkinson sued Bob Barker for sexual harassment making claims the host victimized her for over three years. Reportedly, Bob would come on down to her dressing room, and she felt forced to do his bidding to keep her job. So, are you married or single? I'm single right now. Single right now, yeah. She, she's temporarily single. She Barker came forward in a press conference and admitted to having a consensual relationship with Parkinson, and she gave up her legal claims in 1995 because she could no longer afford the fees. Bob Barker and the show's producers have been sued frequently, but the cost of a lawsuit is beyond the financial resources of most plaintiffs. Parkinson's lawsuit was over, but it had further consequences than Barker could have possibly imagined. Holly gets canned. In 1995, Holly Hallstrom was fired from The Price is Right. She had gained 14 pounds as a result of taking hormone replacement medications, and the producers began hiding her behind vehicles and merchandise before she was eventually let go for her weight gain. But she was not going to take this news lying down, and she claimed that her termination was an act of retaliation for her refusing to lie on Bob Barker's behalf during Diane Parkinson's lawsuit. I didn't leave and I didn't quit. I'm not a quitter. They kicked me out. Barker sued her for libel, and she countersued for wrongful termination and age and weight discrimination. Little did she know that she was going to face a decade-long legal battle that would cost her, well, everything she had. The producers make changes. After 29 years and over 6,000 shows, Janice Pennington was fired right after the October 19, 1999 taping when Pearson Television assumed ownership of the show. Pennington and Bradley were allegedly informed that they no longer fit the new producer's long-term plans for the show, but they both claimed they received the silent treatment from Bob Barker after their depositions in Holly Hallstrom's lawsuit assuming they were let go as retaliation. Sharon Freem, Cheryl Paris, Linda Rygart, and Paul Atler filed a separate lawsuit against Barker. Most agreed to keep their mouths shut as part of the settlement, but Kathleen Bradley was a notable exception. Kathleen Bradley. Kathleen was crowned Miss Black California in 1971 and joined the show in 1990, becoming the first permanent African-American model on The Price is Right. And fans of F. Gary Gray's 1995 comedy Friday joined Ice Cube and Chris Tucker, ogling her as Mrs. Parker. Hi, Miss Parker. Hi, boy. But she refused to slander Holly Hallstrom during her lawsuit, too, and was among the six models who were let go in 1999. But she definitely didn't sign a hush clause and is very forthcoming about her opinion about her termination. In June 2014, Bradley released her tell all memoir, Backstage at the Price is Right Memoirs of a Barker Beauty. She claims she was frequently subjected to racism backstage and that Barker was a philanderer who frequently mistreated and sexually harassed the models. Holly gets justice. Holly Hallstrom learned the hard way how expensive it is to sue an employer with very deep pockets. She claims she was briefly forced to live in her car, but she persisted and ended up winning a multi-million dollar judgment after 10 years of litigation. She refused to sign a hush agreement and has made numerous talk show appearances to tell her story. She appeared on the Today Show in 2007 and announced her intention to use her settlement to set up a foundation a foundation to help plaintiffs meet the cost of similar legal actions in the future. Just drag the little person through the courts for years until they break So you. you're going to use some of this money to set up something? To help. Absolutely. More lawsuits filed. Bob Barker hosted his final show on June 15, 2007. Barker was sued nine different times by former models, and the other lawsuits were settled out of court. Some of the allegations occurred after Barker left the show, and he wasn't named as a defendant in all of the lawsuits. There were lawsuits filed against producers Adam Sandler, no relation to the actor. 
think you've had enough. Bill Rossi and Mike Richards. Richards was briefly chosen to secede Alex Trebek as permanent host of Jeopardy, but was forced to step down only a few days after because his past came back to haunt him. Richards allegedly used offensive language and disparaged women's bodies repeatedly on a podcast he once hosted. New models on The Price is Right. Nikki Ziering, Heather Kozar, and Claudia Jordan left the show in the 2000s, and the producers used a rotating cast until they decided to use five regular models during the show's 37th season. They frequently now use guest models provided by sponsors and from other CBS shows, featuring a diverse mix of both male and female models. Current host Drew Carey refers to the models by name and encourages them to use their appearance on the show to springboard their acting careers and they are all named individually in the show's credits. Well, now the credits are rolling, as that's been our look behind the scenes at The Price is Right. Our culture has changed in many ways since the show first aired in 1972, and the show's producers seem to be interested in moving the show forward, highlighted by the diverse cast. So now I want to hear from you. Do you remember these Barker's beauties? Do you think these former models got justice? Or do you think Bob and the Deep Pockets got their way? And finally, how do you think Drew Carey is doing carrying the torch? Get in the comments and tell us all things Price is Right. Who out there has been on the show? What game did you play? I look forward to reading your comments. But before you go, please hit the thumbs up icon, it really helps. And subscribe to the channel so you get notified about new videos. But from all of us here at Do You Remember, we want to thank you for watching. And don't forget to spay and neuter your pets.